morning guys welcome to today's video it is fall sam and i are just discussing all of our plans for the weekend like there's just so much stuff that happens in the fall versus the summer where people like slow down or are busy at shows all the time we are headed someplace that we have been going for years and years and years clearly it was a good day to come because there are so many people here you guys i mean like packed and sam and sophie are ahead of me holy moly we used to always come for the sales like the yard sale type stuff and for the chicken guy there was a chicken guy here that had the best chickens we have lots of our own horseshoes oh look at it oh i thought they were horse blankets but they're deer blankets they're christmas blankets they're so super cute i like them apples oh yeah those are like horse apples for sure oh that was a lot of wallets sam loves the meat guy try some yeah, that's good stuff. There you go, you can always try some. Oh, that's cute, actually. You could hold your saddle on that. I think it's like for blankets, but it might be too narrow, but Sam could maybe fix it. All right, Sam got his meat. Sure, thank you so much. Thank you. What are the chances there's a horse here? What are the chances? I bet you, let's go. We're about to find out. Lots of cows. Cows are on the go. This like thing that you walk on, like the upper level kind of bends. Yeah, it's scary. But look at what we found, you guys. What's that? That's a goat. Oh, that's a big goat. Well, look at this. Yeah, I sent it to my friend. Look at you. All right. No, the other one's a goat. Oh, there's a cow. It's a cow running loose. He is fancy. Look at him. I do not. I just, oops, I just said the other day there are no llamas in our life. Oh, he's beautiful though. Like, he is gorgeous. Look at that fur. Clearly taken care of. So fancy. Hi. <laughs> I think he just has a lot of hair. Oh, he could be a little fat. All right. Hello. No, they're like, look at how scared they are. I want the one in the back. You like the one in the back? Yeah, he's cute. I like the pink one. And there are some pink ones. Sophie is leading me to the goats. I already can tell. Straight to the goats. But there are no goats now that you have a mini. Oh, you guys are so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, you are so fluffy. Look at how fluffy it is. Mama, mama, give me a drink. If we were set up for goats and we didn't have already enough on our plate with our new addition, I, I like these two. I love them. That's so cute. It's oh, he's, look at him. <laughs> look at his tongue. <laughs> and his eyes. You're really cute. So you gotta wash your hands before we leave. So that's it for today. For me, the winner was that little family of goats, the mama and the baby and that llama. My girls were really little. We used to come here for like field trips, like for preschool and stuff. Just wait, I'll like get now. some. Yeah, she's like, oh, now that you pointed it out, I need to clean my hands right now. So, my hands are disgusting. yeah, don't even get in the car with your dirty hands. So, here. So now I, I need, need all you this. touched me, now I need some. So we used to come here for the whole entire morning and spend an entire morning because there used to have this, remember I told you that it used to be a really happening place with all these outdoor people that sold small animals like chickens and bunnies and ducks. And we used to come for the whole morning and then we'd have lunch here. They have a really cute little diner, like an old fashioned diner. And you sit on those little round stools, like a 50s diner. It's so super cute. Oh yeah, I still have that. And then you can get like a hot dog or a hamburger. And then they have a homemade pie by all the old ladies. Little old ladies. And it is adorable. Like the pie is they so good. They turn old ladies into a pie? No, but like the old, little old ladies that work in the kitchen in the diner make all the pies homemade. Oh man, you can have like, they have like so many different selections of pies. It is so fun. Like it used to be such a fun place. And now it's... Ever since COVID happened, it's just 
smaller and smaller and smaller with less animals and less variety and less but look, a lot of little kids that still come here. It's fun for families to come here when you don't have animals at home, like when you don't have a farm at home because you get to experience it, you get to see it. So Sophie and I are trying to figure out who should we introduce? Willow, because she understands the baby's gonna be small. I agree, baby. I think Willow and Willow's a and small whore, so she- Oh, she has a leaf on her back. It's the best one probably to introduce Honey to first. So we're getting ready to do that in a few days. Um, but the thing is, is that, you know, who is the one that is the most attentive to her? The one that watches her like all the time? It's Penny. Penny like has such an interest in this little mare. And then, but she's like, Small and then I think she's... about like, if Penny and Willow She'll both- She'll go underneath her and go at her back. Yeah, and if... Penny will kick. If Penny and Willow are both maternal, then they could fight over her. So if we introduce Gracie what first. What if Gracie fights her? And Gracie would be like, eh, I don't really care about you. Uh, but then she'll still have a friend. I don't think Gracie's the right one, to be honest. Gracie's not. I think it's Willow. I also that think hurt. Penny could be the right one, too. So you guys know I bought a new bit for Chino. We haven't tried them in it yet. It's, a, it's like a bit that you would train a foal in. Something that isn't, yeah, hopefully... Gabby's against it. So I researched and got a lot of help trying to get that that bit. She doesn't like the idea of it. So she hasn't tried it yet, but today she's gonna try it because tomorrow, Chino might do lessons, you guys. He might do lessons. Gabby is honestly so excited to get back into riding her horse. She loves her horse. I honestly get it though, because when I ride Penny on the trail, I trust her. Like, I just sit there with no reins at all and I just, I just feel like a connection and, a, and a, like I just trust her you guys and it's like that for Gabby too with Chino she trusts that guy like she's built up a trust they know each other and so she wants to get riding him again she loves riding him and we want to just see how he's doing he seems to be doing great with his feet we found something else Penny can do watch Penny's see if she does it again she just closed this gate you guys <laughs> that is so cool like I need I need to write a routine like a fun <laughs> I love you Penny you're smart and and funny and and I kind of wish I didn't teach you to push it up <laughs> Sophie wishes she didn't treat you to teach you to push stuff. So Sophie wants to work with Willow by herself today she wants to we're gonna do a photo shoot that's what we're doing today Gabby's riding She's doing a photo shoot with her minis and then Gabby's gonna ride Chino and we're gonna see how he likes this new bit. So Chino, we're just trying to find a bit that he doesn't mouth as much, something that that he doesn't play around with as much. This might not be the one, but I do have a couple other options. All right, so we're walking in to this big butt. Chino's getting tacked up and ready to go. Grace, no, Will over there is getting all cleaned up and ready for a little bit of a photo shoot. I figured out where I'm gonna do it, where I'm gonna shoot. I'm still, out of all the saddles I've ever seen, this is still my favorite by far. You know why I like it? I love the colors of it. And now I chose dark colored saddles. Yeah, and I love the red. Even though people say, don't get red, I love the red. We've reduced the time the horses are on grass. Unfortunately, it has to happen. They've gotten too chubby. So we're working on that now. And Gabby notices a change in Chino, slight change. <laughs> I notice a slight change in Willow. Slight change, but it'll just take time. You might care if you throw it at him. <laughs> nope. Chino still has a gorgeous tail. Like that is for sure. It is gorgeous. Thick and gorgeous. But actually, Kevin, his tail is thick. But it it used to be like crazy thick. I love the days that we just hang out in the barn and take forever to get ready. Can I get honey back? And uh and know? groom our horses and like trim them up and make them cute. Can I get honey back? I don't think Honey needs a bridle path, but you get going. She's gonna have a bridle path. All right, maybe for the pictures that might be cute. I don't know. She's and your horse. Be better for me, so I know where the halt 
Arthur sits on her head. All right, well, that, yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. It's still pretty long. Yeah, I noticed Penny's is getting really long, too. I can cut hers if you hold them. All right, are we ready? Can we go, finally? So, it's so funny, I'm brushing Chino's chest. Let's see what he does. <laughs> no. no, he doesn't, though. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's a biter, not a fighter. <laughs> It's not that he bites, but he like tries to groom you and then gets a little bit too far. Like, see, he just tried to chew my shirt. He never tries. He never tries to hurt you or anything like that. Perfect. In fact, do you want to put flowers around their head? Like, I've seen really cute pictures with flowers around their head. I have a unicorn. Let me see if I can go find them. We actually found some of our Christmas props. I know we have a lot of them in there. Is that what's in there? A bit. Oh, a bit. I was like, why is it so heavy? Is that Willow's bit? Yes. It's tiny. Anyways, we found some of our Halloween props, some of our Christmas props. And there's holes in it for the horses. Yeah, so. That does not fit my head. Do you want to bring some props out there and we'll take extra pictures? Do you want to take? Oh my goodness. We have more than this. Oh, oh, I thought it was a reindeer. Oh. There's holes in it. Yeah. Oh, that's because we cut holes for the ear, horse's ears. That's cute for, Ch uh, for Chino. All right. Well, let's take this stuff out and we'll use it to do like some little bit of pictures. We're going to do another photo shoot coming up really soon so for like Christmas. Christmas. We need to go to the yeah. store to get Halloween stuff. Yeah. Well, no, Halloween's almost over for goodness sake. But we'll but do... We got a witch. Then we'll also have it for next year. Yeah. All right. Well, let's take these out and we'll use those and her. I just need to just. I just want flowers. Aww. He's Christmassy. He's so Christmassy. We're a little scared of this kind of stuff. All right. Well, let's go out and take pictures, Sophie. From what I can see, his mouth is still busy, but less. With any bit. Yeah. Any bit. No, Chino hates riding on grass. I just had to run and change batteries. And so I can see from here his mouth is still opening. So there's a couple others I've explored. <laughs> a couple other bits. We're just gonna keep trying. One thing I know for sure. What we have is something worth fighting for. He still mouths it, but I feel like he's not fighting it as much. I don't think he likes it because You think it's pinching him? Yeah, I pulled on him. Oh, I see. But he kind of does that with every other bit. Yeah. Even if I don't touch him, he still mouths it and he turns his head oh, even wait, more. Yeah. Good. All right, so, so far I think. I yeah, I yeah, know. He's your boy back again. The shoes. I think made I think we've done a lot to change we've done a lot of changes since this boy's been home. For your act because I've learned that this is the safest position on him. <laughs> the wind goes over top of you and then it keeps you on. Ugh. So when he takes his dangerous longs, you stay here and you're good. And you're good. But I think it too. He looks fresh and ready to go. Like yeah, he loves to ride back to the barn. <laughs> wow, I think I think I think he's ready. So you guys know we changed the things we've changed since he's been home. We've changed his diet. We changed, we gave him a joint, like a joint supplement. We are, we've been changing his bits. We took off his shoes. Like we didn't just fool around with a couple of little things. We changed a lot of things on this boy. And I think you want to do it one more time, one more round. News knocking at my door, but I like it like that. We go all in and I'm falling, but I like it like, like it like that. And it's so wrong, but still so strong, but I like it like, like it like that. Now I'm catching fire. So that's really his first ride since he got his shoes off without any padding on his feet. She's been riding him with hoof, his hoof boots. What are they called? What? Scoop boots. Yeah, Chino's got nice scoop boots. All right, so we got Chino figured out. Every day there's like some kind of something to figure out. So we're getting ready for this little photo shoot and 
girls drove by and stuck their head out of the window and were screaming, oh my gosh! It was you. No, it wasn't me. So anyway, we decided underneath this gorgeous tree is the best spot for pictures possibly, but it seems super sunny. So you're gonna have to go out there yeah, a bit. There are pom-poms in the front. Pom-poms in the front. All right, so we're done. I took some pictures of Molly. I don't know if they're gonna work out. Like, Thank you. I maybe should have brought a different camera lens. But anyway, Sophie's gonna go get her other mini and we're gonna honey. take honey and we're gonna take pictures of them. All right, we are done our little photo shoot. Our, uh, <laughs> yeah. So honey is not as awesome at getting her picture taken, at posing. She's not as good as Gracie is, or I mean, Honey is not as good as Willow at posing, but you wouldn't expect her to be. She's a baby, so that's okay. Oh my goodness, she just doesn't have the patience to just stand there and let Sophie like make her look pretty. We're done.